come to Miami and just kind of have a staycation as in like just for me to just get away from Jersey and um, kind of just come and chill in Miami. But it's not a vacation. So I'm not really doing too much. I mean like, yeah, I've been to the beach and I went out for like happy hour. Things that I would do in Jersey. Well, minus the beach because right now it's cold. But um, yeah, and so far I've been loving it. So I decided to do like a little mini vlog on, you know, what my day looks like here in Miami. I've been here for a couple of days. As you guys saw in the previous footage, I worked out, nothing different, still keeping the same routine that I had in Jersey, worked out, came back. Now I'm about to um, make breakfast and um, log on for work. And then yeah, and then after work, I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get into. I There is this outfit that I want to take a picture in. As you can see, it's like on my bed. I wanna take a picture in and um, I have to find a spot though. This Airbnb that I'm in, by the way, is so nice. It's a studio Airbnb downtown Miami. It is so nice. I've been enjoying the amenities. For example, like the gym, there's a pool, there's a club room, which I've worked from last night and uh yeah it's really nice i'm close to everything like everything everything i either like hop on the uber for like five minutes or no more than 10 minutes and um or i walk so like i said i'm about to log in for work and get my work day started and also make some breakfast and then after work i will find a place to go take a picture in because i need to do my content I just finished working um I'm about to get ready and get ready where am I going I don't even know where I'm going yet but I am about to get dressed and um, do my hair and do my makeup because I do want to take a picture in this outfit that I have and then um, I don't know I wanted to go to the station restaurant called top top but come to find out they are permanently closed I'm gonna see if I could find like like a rooftop bar or something like that I'm not really sure but I really have to get ready and go take this picture before the sun goes down for this outfit that I have in mind I, I actually do have a picture with almost the same it's like the same color combination and like the exact same outfit kind of not the exact same outfit when it comes to like the exact same clothes but it looks so similar I'm gonna put like a picture of it I got this little uh, um, crop top knit top from Aritzia I really love the color of it it was on sale and we all know Aritzia is super expensive so I love the color it's like a dark turquoise I don't even know if this is turquoise. I don't even know my colors. But yeah, I want to wear this. And then I have these white trousers. Well, they're not completely white. They're like this off-white. And I think they're like in this cotton. What kind of material is this? It's like in this linen material. Um, It's high-waisted. I really love the way it looks on me. So I'm gonna put those two together. And for shoes, I'm thinking about my white sandal little heels or my sandal platforms. I don't think this is gonna go. So this is definitely a no. I'm gonna probably take a picture in these, most likely. So here it is. I really like it. And I have a similar picture with something like so like when I say you're just gonna take a double look and think this is the same thing that I wore in this picture see in this picture the color of the top was green and this is blue so 
all right so now i have to go do my makeup the lighting in the bathroom is not that great it's like the yellow sorry about that uh i am going to give my hair like three curls three curls because it is super puffy and um yeah we're gonna give myself three curls well, actually four curls and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these flexi rods. These flexi rods to just kind of keep them in place until I'm done with everything. And they're gonna be like curls at the bottom, not the top, just enough to give it like, just enough to pretend like my hair is actually done. <laughs> because when I do my face I don't like anything like dangling on my face it's, that's very annoying to me so I just like have my hair tied and I just tied my whole hair with the curling rods just so nothing is like hanging on my face while I do my makeup so while I do my makeup we're gonna have a little chat about Miami now this is not the first time that I've been here before um i came here last year during the summer time and i stayed uh and i stayed downtown brickle and i was only here for like about i think like four days that was the first time i've been to miami first time last year 2022 was it last year 2022 nope 2021 my bad it was 2021, that was my first time in Miami. My initial thoughts were like, it was cool, it's nice. And I think that's why I've never bothered to come until, up until then, cause it never really interests me. But this year, I wanted to like do a little getaway for like a week. And two of my friends were like, you need to go to Miami, go to Miami. But the prices from Miami, from New Jersey, that was the only thing that got me to come here, honestly. Miami definitely has in what the Haitian people would like to call an ambiance, right? There's like a lot of things going on, like restaurants, lounges, clubs, like everything. And I feel like it's 24-7. 24 7. I was just telling my friend how I when I went to brunch, like the restaurant that I went to the dress code was like you know you have to dress up which I have no problems with but like back in Jersey like you dress up people will look at you not in a negative way but like not that you don't belong either but like you're overdressed but here it's not like that because everyone is dressed everyone is dressed even 10 o'clock in the morning like it doesn't matter people are dressed to go and party okay party for breakfast lunch dinner whatever i can never live here because if i have to live here like there's no way i'm working no way with all these activities going on and i'm expected to be in the office five days out of the week for eight hours no thank you I went to south beach yesterday again that was in, that was my second time at south beach i went to the beach for the day um South Beach is nice, like the beach is okay. I don't like seaweed, so that's my only problem. There are seaweeds everywhere. But, oh! oh my gosh, I thought this fell on me. About to say on my white pants, my white pants. All right, you know what? I'll talk to you guys in a bit because I need to rush and do all of this. Okay, so I just finished my makeup and my hair um i use this born this way illuminating foundation um concealer and i do not like this concealer at all but my hair came out really nice you see it's just three curls on each side and it looks like you know you really took the time to do your hair when you did it here's the final look of the outfit and my hair with the shoes so quickly I'm gonna go find a place like maybe across the street before the sun sets and then gonna come back here 
and chill before I go back out again. I'm actually thinking about making dinner too, making dinner and then going back out, but we'll see. I'm going to force myself to go out because I can see myself coming back and just calling it a day, but we're gonna go out. So I got my pictures in. I am super excited about that. They came out okay. I mean, well, they came out nice. I have like a couple that came out nice. Um, I actually came in the perfect time because as you can see, the sun is just shining on my face and I am loving it. So now I'm heading back to the apartment. I didn't even have to go across the street. I just literally came downstairs, took a picture, took a couple of pictures and now I'm going back upstairs now. I am back. I like the content that I have. Um, it's possible. So job well done. And yeah, so now I'm going to make some burgers make some beyond burger this whole time i've been here i've only went out to eat twice i went to the burgermeister place where they have really good burgers and then um they also have like a vegan burger um and then i went to the brunch spot the the oh it's called it's called little hen <clears throat> i went to brunch on saturday but after that i've been cooking my meals like i just bought regular like eggs my beyond sausage and then i have like fruit i've been eating um my chai latte so i don't have to go to a coffee shop every morning um and then what else yeah i have like shrimp pasta so i've been like cooking while i've been here so that really saved me a lot of money um because like i said this is not like a vacation or anything this is more of a getaway and a staycation at the same time just wanted to get away and just do a little relaxing and just kind of still continue to have the same schedule my same routine but just in a different location all right so let's make these burgers <laughs> check out the french restaurant downstairs but i'm not really that hungry and it's going to be i think it's going to be like eight o'clock um what i decided to do is just take a walk around the block it's very the area that i'm in it's like a nice walking spot area there's a lot of people walking taking a walk so I'll be safe and everything. After my walk, if I'm still full, then I will be going to the restaurant because I'm not gonna stuff my face just cause. I change into my flats so I can walk more comfortable instead of the heels. And I am ready to go. <laughs> day look like with me being here for a generous amount of time and what I do during the day and that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye